bedtime was nine o'clock? How could you have a life? Yeah, and there was nothing to do. No video games. There wasn't much time to play. They had to survive first. Man, the 1800s are weird. They didn't even have mascara. Wow. Long distance communication was basically smoke signals or snail mail. Unbelievable. No modems. Four days in the bush. It's not gonna be easy. If anyone wants to drop out, now's the time. Are you kidding? That's four days off school. That's gonna be a piece of cake. Good. Then I'll need your permission slips. Joe Burns will meet you at the settlement. He's a pioneer specialist, and he'll be your guide and chaperone. You'll be living off the land without the help of modern technology. It's gonna be so cool. And you'll have to pick a leader. I'd like to put my name forward. Sorry, Taylor, but we do this by drawing straws. Oh, man, it's Caitlin. But she has no leadership qualities whatsoever. And she has a criminal record. <laughs> oh, and what have you done? Won a couple of rodeo queen contests? Then you're all set. I survived all by myself on the streets. If anybody could lead these spoiled brats, it's me. How tough could it be to live in the 1800s for a few days? It's gotta be way easier than algebra. Watch where you're going. You know, if this really were the 1800s, I don't think a girl would be our leader. Yeah, we didn't even vote. Hey, guys, women were exactly the same then as they are now. Oh, right, I'm just saying that you don't have the physical strength to uh, hunt and trap and fish. That's not true. We can do anything that you guys can. <laughs> well, if you want total historical accuracy. No way. We're doing all the cooking and cleaning. Oh. Oh, of course not. We share all the work. Yeah. Well, sure. Come on, pioneers. Give us a hand. So the cow's up at the campsite, and Joe's on his way. Now it's a mile in. The path is clearly marked. OK. Let's uh, do a technology search. You first. OK and one piece of 21st century technology for emergencies. Joe's a stickler for authenticity, but the phone's OK. Now, we'll be at Black Creek Campground. It's two hours away, but Jim has his cell. So don't hesitate to use that phone. And uh, be careful out there. Are you kidding? Building a fire is a lot easier than building a website. <laughs> hey, don't worry. You're going to be a great leader. You're very decisive. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get this stuff to camp. They don't have a clue what they're in for, do they? Nope. <laughs> Here. No way! You promised we'd help share all the work. Okay. Share doesn't mean that I carry it. Oh, I hate feminism.
You're kidding, right? <laughs> it's supposed to be primitive. We're pioneers. <sighs> I've decided to start a journal of our pioneer adventure. Day one. Spiders. We have spiders. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wait, you guys. We said we were going to do this. You can't just give up before we've even started. No sign of Joe. Quill pens are cool. So, uh, what should we do? I don't know. We could start by seeing what's in these bags. Quill pens are messy. What happened to the bag with the vegetables? That is so weird. Well, since Joe isn't here, we might as well get organized without him. Griffin, why don't you... Hey, Nikki, let's go fishing. Really? Oh, yeah, you'll love it. We can bring back fish for dinner. Okay. Brett, we need firewood. Cool, cool, man. That's a man's job. You're supposed to share all the hard work. Remember? I'll get the axe. You really blew it with the girl thing. So we sweat a little. Big deal. You know, a smart leader would have probably already by now gagged you. <sighs> ah, the common vermis. We really dug up some beauties. I won't insult you asking if you need help baiting your hook. Mm. Thanks. I wish I had my blue quill fly in my own rod. But on the other hand, who needs modern fishing poles and special flies? We are pioneers. Just because you found the pail doesn't mean that I have to milk him. Her. Let's just go get one of the guys to go no. do. Can't believe you've never milked a cow before. Oh, I'm sorry, but my people aren't cow milkers. <sighs> Look what you've done. I caught something. What do I do? Okay. He's gone? You lost my fish? Share all the hard work now. I'm kidding. Where is everybody? Our food. I thought you were an expert fisherman. I didn't let him go. He got away. What happened to the food? <sighs> Raccoons? Maybe coyotes. Or a bear. No fish? Uh, where's Bossy? She ran away. Where's Joe? He's a no-show. Where's Caitlin? What happened to the food? Hey, Caitlin. We have no food. Fire's out. The fish escaped. And the cow ran away. <laughs> what is this, a nursery rhyme? You're the leader. What do we do? In a dream, I had a horse that was confined, and a whale that died for lack of water. Things change, but they Leave a message and I'll call you. Day two. Still no sign of Joe. We went to bed hungry. We got up hungry. We are determined to survive hardships of life in the bush, like our forefathers. Man, I hate mosquitoes. Why isn't the fire starting? I don't know. 
group remains in the high spirits. Give me that. Hey! We need it for kindling. Oh, no, you don't. It's a historical document. It's more important to have a fire than a journal. No way. How will everyone know about pioneers? Griff, we're not pioneers. Look, even if we had a fire, we have nothing to cook. You know what? He's right. I'm gonna go find something. I'll help. Oh, man. Where's Joe? You know, we should find some berries or something. Gather when you can hunt. You're kidding. What? No, it's just like the one I saw on the Wild Man website. They made slingshots, shot wildlife, had dinner. Okay, so you're gonna kill a bird. Yeah, I have amazing hand-eye coordination. Hey, I'm hunting here. Oh, okay, so you're this macho big game hunter now. Yeah, I saw the video games. How hard can this be? <sighs> Squirrel. Still no sign of Joe. We have nothing to eat but boiling water. The makings of a good pioneer soup. Our leader has gone off to find food. You know what my favorite kind of pizza is? Double cheese. Pepperoni. Those little pickles that you get on the side and they're just they're cut in, in the truck. Okay, stop it. You know if I were leader, none of this would have happened? I've had enough of this. I'm going home. Where's the phone? If we go back now, we're gonna look like losers. We've only got two more days. Two? Look, what if this Joe guy never even shows up? Okay, where's the phone? I'm calling your dad. If we go back now, everyone's gonna know we failed. No way. I don't care, okay? Just give me the phone. The battery's dead. You left this on all day. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. You know, we could die out here and no one would ever know. We're not gonna die. We found food. Well, they really aren't that bad once you get used to them. Why do you think those hungry raccoons didn't eat these berries? Because they didn't like them, duh. They didn't like them because maybe they're poisonous? Huh? <coughs> we may not survive the night. To anyone who may find these chronicles... Mom, Dad... I love you guys. My stomach feels kind of weird. Yeah, mine too, I, I think. Caitlin, I forgive you! I'm sorry I didn't get to know you better. Yeah, me too. You know that blue t-shirt with the heart on it? Can I have it? Sure. Thanks. You know, I shouldn't compare you to me. I mean, you do have a few leadership qualities. No, I don't. I'm a terrible leader. Now because of me, everyone's gonna die. Me? Honest. We're, 
we're alive. We are alive. <laughs> okay, well, I think first off we should... I don't want to live if I'm going to scratch myself to death and if I'm going to starve. Look, I didn't sleep at all last night. And where's Cho, anyway? Look, I know it's not manly to cry, and I'm sorry. Day three. Still no sign of Pioneer Joe. Our only connection to the outside world, the phone, is dead. The group spirits sink lower and lower. No more signs of fish in the creek. We've started using mud to stop the itching from our mosquito bites. Oh, here, give me some of those. You're carrying way more than me. If this were really 1847, I'd probably be carrying them all. Jordan and I, we probably would have been slaves. We wouldn't be friends. I wouldn't be dating Griffin. My whole life would be different. No, you're right. And when my mother died, they probably would have stuck me in some orphanage. By now I could be working in a factory or dead of TB or diphtheria. I guess we're both lucky we weren't born then. It's just like the trap I seen on that western. Man, wouldn't it be great if we caught one of those raccoons that ate our stuff? Man, forget raccoons. I'm thinking a nice, fat, juicy deer. <laughs> Oh, I smell something. That's you. That smells like garlic. You have food. You have food. Give me some. There's hardly any left. I don't care. Give it to me. I want food. Whoa. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Give him up. Hey, come on, man. Hey, let me out of here. Brett? Listen Caitlin yourself. convinced us to leave Jordan in the trap until after we had eaten his beef sticks. It was the first real food the rest of us had eaten in three days. By day four, I'd come to an important realization. Pioneers are stupid. All right! Woohoo! I caught something! Tell me he said he just caught something. You guys, it's a baby deer. Come here. Forget it. He's lunch. We have to help him. Caitlin, we're starving. Well, we can't eat the deer. You eat steak and burgers all the time. You don't even blink an eye. Well, chances are that we'll find some other food. And even if we don't, we aren't going to starve. We can't do this. I can. We'll get the fire started. No. If you kill that deer, you're going to have to do it with me standing right here. Hello? Joe, is everything all right? What? Where are you? All right, thank you. Joe got the dates wrong. He thought he was supposed to meet them tomorrow. Why didn't they call? I don't know. It's going to take us two hours to get there. So, how are you going to do it? No, this isn't like the computer game, Jordan. You don't just press a button and wipe out the enemy. Lay off me! Okay, I'm thinking. Look at him. I've never been camping before, all right? I've never hunted for anything. And everybody hates me because I hid that food. 
gotta prove that I can cut in. Killing this deer is not going to prove your manhood. I was really that hungry. Speak for yourself, man. Okay, okay, I couldn't have eaten the deer either. This is great. We're happy because we have nothing to eat. Yes, we do. And they're 65% protein. And we have greens and wild carrots. Weeds and worms. Weeds and worms. Why not? Oh, and I've got some flour that I brought for my hair. Your hair? Yeah, pioneer women used it to keep the grease down. Oh, so we can coat the worms in flour and then fry them up. Are they done yet? Well, uh, they look kind of crispy. Well, dish them out. Actually, they're not bad. Hey, no pushing, Griffin. Hey, who does that worm song? Uh, nobody likes me. Everybody, Everybody hates me. me. I, I guess, guess I'll go, go eat worms. Little <laughs> <laughs> slimy ones, short, fat, juicy ones. Juicy, busy, fuzzy, buzzy worms. Worms. <laughs> <laughs> More to it. Hey, you guys! Is everyone all right? Hi! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> so good to see you guys. What happened to you guys? Oh. What happened? Oh. It's so good to see you guys. We made a pact never to tell anyone we ate worms. For a few minutes, everything sort of came together. I guess that's when being the leader feels good. When everybody works together because of something you've done. When you think about it, we were all wrong. It wasn't easier to survive in the 1800s. But we managed it. Just. <laughs> <laughs>